Here it is. You can crouch and avoid them. And they both cook above you. Turret pops, he pops both mollies. I'm your coach Slayer King, and today I'm coaching a gold killjoy who had trouble getting impact with their setups and was constantly on the rotates. Yeah, this session is perfect for anyone looking to better understand the sentinel role, so enjoy and stick around to the end where I uncover the perfect time to change setups. You just crouch behind the turret. Sheesh, that's nice. What just happened? I'm not sure. There's a guy mid. Good. I think the first pole was A, but nobody went out. So I went back to B. So as a sentinel, you know what this turret watches. B main, mid. Mm -hmm. Really important that you try to keep this utop as long as possible to basically like confirm hits before you rotate. Because the second I see this on the minimap, right, your clove peeking into main, see nothing. I'm like, this is an over rotate. Then we go back B. And now they could be up B. Now it's scary. Now they could be like any timing really right now where they could just peek up B main. I see you get back into the position for the turret though. I love that. We're committed. Only thing I'm thinking about is making sure you took its value by anchoring yeah. that site. So only thing here is just grab your stuff once you plan to leave this site. Okay, I have a question. My alarm bot, should I grab that too? Because sometimes they cancel and re-hit like the other site. So I don't know if... It's a good sometimes... question. And the answer is usually just yes, grab the alarm bot. Because I would consider it to be like a bad habit due to bad players. Good players would just break your alarm bot instantly. And a lot of times when you give up the space, we should already assume unless we have better intel that they're already out. Very interesting, you put a deep, deep alarm butt here. I like it. Nice. Get the Vandal too. I would only change one thing, because I love this setup. Like, one part of the setup doesn't make sense to me. Can you guess which part it is? Is it the turret? Yes. Why is it the turret? Okay. Uh, I can't get any value off of it myself, I guess. I'm playing too far away from it. Yeah, exactly. Your turret's intention is basically watching B main, or your util's intention is like, I'm doing a lane cook setup. Mm -hmm. So I would think of maybe doing this turret, like, on the ground here. That watches both here and here. A big thing I try to help killjoys with or talk to killjoys about is just making sure all your util benefits the same thing. Okay, because I've also been told that like my util should like watch as many things as possible as well. I I'm kind of like hesitant to like put it all for like one spot. It's so sometimes like, true, but it's really just you as a player playing off your utility that makes it strong. Okay. There's different types of setups and what you're talking about is more like a map control setup. This is like an on-site setup. On-site setups aren't like, now I'm gonna try to get all the intel of my utility. I like the switch here to the B main. This turret's really strong and it lets your teammates insta-rotate here. The old day, grab the utility here too. I honestly didn't even know I couldn't like recall it when I was in KO. What do you do in this situation? There's three people at site we're assuming. How do you win this round? Wait for our arena. Yep, big bean. So we didn't grab our abilities, right? So we have nothing here we can use. When you don't have any abilities to use, always look at your teammates. Because one, they might have abilities they're going to use, and two, they might have a position you can play off of. This video is sponsored by you, baby. You've probably already heard about the Ko-Fi, Slayer Key's Guide to Immortal, and tutorials where I cover every agent so you can be the best one trick out there. But have you heard about my favorite perk? Sub Wars. The newest edition where you can play against others in games coached by me. That's right, Coach Key. I'm medium, I'm medium. I'm also medium. Wait, 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 wait. Come and join in on the fun. Plus, subscribe right now and you'll get access to my only subs. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. Thanks to you for making this content possible and enjoy. <gasps> There's certain teams you do certain setups against. Like if the five man rush be main with the omen flash KO knife, what kind of setup are we going to do? I just go for my lane. 100%. And so with how this team's been playing, what exactly have they been doing for their pushes or whatever they've been defaulting towards? They've been like really slow with their pushes, really. Yep, exactly. So what kind of stuff do we do against this type of team? Info. What's our info setup look like? I have the B main turret and the alarm bot mid. Easy cook. Wait, this is nasty. No. Oh. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Five hours later. <laughs> That's the best thing I do with this game. I'm not gonna lie. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> oh no. Oof. I feel so helpless with the KO ult. Yeah. It's a duck. Nice though. It does suck. How do we play against the KO ult? 
guess I just tuck and pray. <laughs> For the knife, I know I should like try it back up. The knife is based on like how you expect him to use it, right? You expect him to do a certain knife. So how do you expect KOs to use a roll? Like if a KO is going to pop bolt on attack, what is he going to do with it? It's going to push aside. 100%. Yeah. So if we know this is basically his path in here and anything within this range is going to lose their abilities, what should we do as KJ? Group up with a teammate, I would guess. A little different. So if we think about what did happen, we're in this range of the ult on site, right? All of our abilities just go down. So you basically have two choices. First thing you want to do is what? Because you don't want to be on site when this ult happens, right? So where do you want to be? Where I am standing like right now in this frame. I have no idea how big the KO ult range is, to be honest. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is good. Just outside of it, probably a little bit more deeper CT. 100%. So should I just like, should I be treating it more like a KJ ult? Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to think about it. So you have two choices. One is the one you're talking about where you just play outside the ult, just save all your stuff for retake. The second, and you see this more from Cyphers, and this might work for you too. Let's go into Valor Plant and see. What you could do is play back here and just have your mollies, for example, like main or for lane. Mm -hmm. And what do you do when they start to come outside? Pop my mollies. Yep and you're not in the range of the ult, so you can just cook them. Okay. So this is the first thing you can do against KO. So now we know exactly the range we need to be out of. So yeah, it is very deep. Let's see some attack. Attacky wacky. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, this is my nightmare. Do you guys go outside or do we five man get stuck in smoke, have no mid control, no B main control, and it's GG. Yep, yep as expected. But let me just tell you, Ascent, this is tried and true. Every single team does this, gets caught in this every single game. We five man stack main, they use one smoke, right? They didn't use anything else here, but a single smoke. And our whole entire team's like, nah, we can't go out. Yeah. Or we do go out and it's like, holy shit, there's 15 different angles. The rain is here. There's a guy heaven. They're shooting us from tree. Our smokes already get down. We lost. Mm -hmm. Really important to do what? Ask for a rotate probably or get mid control. Why don't we just get mid control at the start with one single turret? I, I haven't thought about that. The strongest playbook i've seen on killjoy is to play like a lurk map control okay so i'll throw you two here right this is you playing towards a you just do the, the standard alarm but you did here and you do yeah. a turret for mid or if you're okay. b this is the one i personally like more is you do this both of these are really strong and you basically just like sit around and wait for something to happen you're gonna be here your team's gonna be here so kind of like adapt it to where your teammates are playing and then if they take sight you just lurk or you just go through right. spawn and regroup with the team completely up to okay. you really important on ascent to have map control about ever putting down my shit Oh, there's Omen TV across. Oh. Nice try. Nice setup. Two mollies on bomb. This turret's like an insanely strong post plant one. So when we do this turret, let's be in a position to play off of it. If you do these mollies, need to do them earlier, need to be off site earlier. Also wouldn't even like think about playing post plant here because you have teammates on site. So, kind of like the teammates intention scene. If you do the mollies, I would do them to benefit the turret. Okay, if I can find you the clip, I will get you it. Because I need to show you the killjoy mollies that you could do in this exact position with your turret that would literally be broken. Wait, he literally does your exact turret. Here it is. Watch. You can, sit in this one if you, crouch. you can crouch and avoid them. And they both cook above you. Turret pops, he pops both mollies. Kills this guy. Literally insane. I would also think about, like, you kind of heard when we do this ult, basically leaves all of heaven open against an opera that's very scary. No way to fix this ult. Go treat. That's your only option. Realistically, you just want to go B here. A lot of times going B of KJ ult's just going to be better because of this aspect. Honestly, sometimes people just play heaven. Is it wall bingable at B though? It's wall bingable at B, so you can do something here. You have two choices. One's to go on top of the box, which will cover all the backsite. You can do this closer one that's safe, but it leaves this little gap backsite. I like to do this one because it is bainable. Yeah, but it's a lot harder. Unless they have Odin Ares and you know they like to spam the wall. Perfect, right. dude. Perfect. Let me get this to you. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Best of luck out there. Yep. Thanks.